Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Troy, ATXRC Productions, known as Chef PV, uh, ATX Drone Space, Drone and Multi Rotor Tips, Tricks, and Reviews and Unboxings. We're going to do some tips and tricks with the Free Sky. So, we've had a Free Sky Tyrannus X9D for over a year. It's a great radio. I definitely recommend it for starter radio for anybody. Don't be alarmed by all the switches and buttons and the things you can do with it. It's a great, amazing setup. And budget value for a system and being able to do whatever you can, whatever you want with it and all that you can with it. Um, it's fully, fully capable of anything you're really going to throw at it. So I have had no issues with mine. None whatsoever. The only issue that I've ever come across was in the last eh, two weeks. Nothing major. It was actually my own fault. Banging this thing around over the last year, I actually caused some damage to the antenna. Now, the antenna that was originally on here was your standard kind of ducky, and it's a little destroyed now. Standard ducky antenna. And what had happened was two weeks ago, I noticed this portion had kind of broken off, so the tabs basically on the hinge had came apart and caused this to no longer be able to be hinged. Well, I could still stick it on there and hinge it back and forth, and I just had to be careful with it. The antenna was still intact, so I told myself, you know what, when it goes bad, it goes bad, and I'll fix it. I knew that I had some different parts laying around that should be able to fix it, and I just figured when it happens, it happens. <laughs> Take care of it. I had enough other stuff to repair with my quads crashing them. So um, what happened was last night, I pulled this thing out of my trunk to do a quick test flight on the new GoPro session. The antenna had snapped off or was gone. Um, well, here it is, but it was off to the side. Um, it had definitely frayed off and ripped, so I couldn't fly. I was really a little frustrated because I knew I couldn't fly today, and uh, well, because my son was sick, but um, anyways. But I knew that I had some whip antennas for X4Rs and D DR4s, as well as I also had um, some bigger antennas for some replacements on my FreeSky LR9 and my X8s. I always keep a couple of these. I've always said Multi Rotor Mania or anybody that sells them, anytime you can add a couple of antennas to your order, they're a couple bucks. Um, do it. Have them on hand. So I knew that I had some stuff and I knew that I had some SMA pigtails and I've seen some different conversions where people put SMAs, but I didn't know exactly internally what to look at yet. This morning I opened it up. It basically is the same type of antenna attachment. It's the little tiny itty bitty mini, whatever it's called. It's like a tiny SMA um, that's a little pinch, like a button. Um, so I realized I could use my X nine or LR nine, um, L nine R, whatever it is, antennas. They're huge. They're like 12 or 14 inches long. They've got these diodes at the end or whatever they are, PCBs. I don't know, some kind of antenna booster or something. And when I opened the main antenna up, I found a very similar antenna. So it was just much shorter. So I opened up the, the x 9 r which I'm not going to show you. You can go in and find this information on Google and YouTube. But go in, open up the x 9 r pop off the old antenna, put, drop in one of these long uh, Free Sky antenna replacements. I looped mine inside one time around because it was so long and stuck it out. Put the radio all back together, and that leaves us where you're going to pick up with the pictures. So... So what did I do? I actually made my own telescopic antenna for my X9R. And it was easy to do. It's, you know, not the most beautiful, insanely piece, you know, crafted piece of equipment that I've done, but it was very simple and I think is going to be super functional. I can put it down, I can pull it all the way up. Wherever it want, I want it, it'll stay. And I have the the whip on the side here hanging off because there's a groove, and you'll see that. So we made this with all the parts you're going to see in the screen. We took a big pin, and we cut a little groove at the end for the antenna to kind of hang off to the side. We then took some shrink tube. It was one inch, and we stretched it out. And the reason we used one inch was because we wanted it to be able to shrink down far enough to be able to get back down to the three eighths inch size or half inch size of the pin and the shrink tube. 
So we took that and we stretched it out and we laid it over that ridged mount on the top of the antenna where the antenna used to be. And then we took the pin and we layered it with a, a, a layer of shrink tube, shrunk it down really quickly with the heat gun. Be very careful not to melt or bend or you know heat that tube up too hot. And then I would actually add a second layer of shrink tube now that I've seen mine. In fact, I'm going to add a second layer of shrink tube over that. And that's going to get you that one inch to shrink down nice and tight over the pin and kind of still give a little resistance but allow it to slide. So we then took that and we stuck it in the original hole. Um, ran the antenna up through it, shrank all the shrink tube back down, and this is what you get. So I actually think it's pretty cool, man. I think it's going to be really functional. Um, it could be smaller, and I could make it be smaller by trimming some of the uh, shrink tubing here away, but I'm going to see if that works in my Skypack bag, which I think it will. Uh, but you could always adjust this. This is just shrunken tubing, so um, you can adjust it down another half inch if you want, really. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, it's to me, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually super psyched about it. So fly safe, fly smart, fly for fun, fly free sky, fly chef PV. Just fly for fun, guys. Peace.